Hey everyone, Mike on Monday coming to you. So lots of questions as this corn really started to try and do some fast growing in the heat that we've been hoping for. Uh, and now we're looking at fields of multiple colors, sizes, etc. So I did a little digging in this particular field and we have uh, uh, different size plants. Um, as well as our root systems are different. Um, if you look closely, we've got good expansion of this root. That's part of the reason it's getting more color. Uh, that came out of this area here that I'm standing in, a little more organic matter, a little less water, all those little small things that were helping us uh, earlier on. And this came out of one of the areas uh, that behind me that you see is a little yellower, shorter, etc and you see how this root here is and flattened this is basically just trying to grow the first root system on the corn plant just trying to grow right down the seed furrow itself the rest of this plant here is trying to get its root going and get into some of the nutrition that uh, it it's looking for and needing um, as you can tell by the color here um, not getting the nutrition versus it is. The other thing that you, if you look closely, is that we're getting color changes, meaning I'm trying to point out not just nutrition, but we're picking up disease issues. And this is real easy to have diseases start invading plants that are struggling to get the nutrition. So think of it just uh, like ourselves. Uh, if we don't eat correctly, uh, we're prone to sickness, disease a lot more so than when we eat correctly. Uh, so here's, here's a challenge for us. So what do we do? Well, mo getting more food to it is one way of, of trying to get that to happen. Uh, but now you got to get it into a small root system. So it's struggling to find what's out there that you placed in the first place. Um, really what we need to do is try and open up this ground and that might be darn difficult for us this year uh, knowing that running a, a cultivator uh, through some of this ground that isn't quite fit again we're in Sheboygan County here where we've got clay that we deal with quite a bit on the east side of 57 I've got two pieces of, of soil here uh, again higher organic matter at least this one falls apart. You can see some platiness, some layers in there, but as a general statement, not as, not too bad. And that's why this is a little greener. Again, from the areas behind me that were compacted, I hit this with the shovel to break it apart. And look at it, it's just a flat layer. We call that plating. Uh, again, the density is too high, so what, what can we do to break this density up? You can see that it, it just, it, it's tough. If I drag a shovel through this, I might get some air in, but I might be compacting it a little bit again too. But really what these, these plants need is to get a little more air down into that soil. So if you can just crack this open a little bit with a, a run of the shovel, um, I often wonder if a, putting turbo till discs on the cultivator and running through here, just opening this up. I'm not trying to do any true tillage where a, a disc will just help open it up versus a shovel trying to slide through and create more smearing. Again, it's something that has to be played with and depending on soil type, that may or may not be an answer for you. But you know, the, when you start wet, the old adage is you gotta stay wet. And this is what as we're drying out and our hard, our ground is getting harder, this is the the evidence and, uh, that shows us that you know we've got tight soils and we not we're lacking oxygen down here, so our roots aren't growing. They're not finding the the nutrients they need to keep up um, and to grow with what the conditions we have. So if you can. Um, if you got side dress to do, that'll help. If you can crack open the soil a little bit, that can help. Um, keep your eyes on that, give it a try. Where the field conditions vary from can't get in to uh, it might go. Um, the other thing I just wanted to give you a, a quick heads up on, 
Lots of leaf hoppers have, have populated the area and with the heat that we've had are, are growing very quickly in population. We've got second crop hay underway in this part of the world. Maybe yours is already off, but get your eyes on those fields. Uh, take care of business on, especially on those new seedings, fields that you're looking to keep. I know money's tight, but you know, use that budgeting concept in, in those cases. The highest priority are your seedings, fields that you're keeping for next year. They'd be next in line to, to see those dollars. If they're rolling out this, this fall, they're worn out, they're tired, maybe this isn't the year to invest uh, any additional dollars in insecticide for those. With that, Mike on Monday, enjoy the warm, watch the corn grow, have a good one. Talk to you next week.